Amen. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Greetings and welcome to this intercessory program, which today is looking at the youth of Whitton, the place where I live. That ever since I've come here, there has been a total lack of interest in spiritual matters. And there appears to have been a total lack of the conviction of sin or the understanding of what sin is. So, I'm coming to challenge Almighty God on the basis of the words of the Son of God who said in St. John's Gospel, chapter 15, and verse 7, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Now, what do we make of that? Is God willing? Of course he is willing. He knows about the youth of Whitton. He knows about their lack of interest and he knows that they need to be drawn with the cords of love because otherwise why would Jesus have said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So the young people of Whitton are lacking in everlasting life. Heavenly Father, you are everlasting God and thy beloved one is God of God, very God of very God, begotten not made. And what he has said about if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, Ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So on that basis, that God cannot lie, and he must fulfill that which he has said he will fulfill, I come and ask and expect and know that it shall come to pass that young people here in Whitton shall not only be brought under conviction of sin, but become absolutely open and interested in spiritual matters, and that they will come to give their hearts entirely to the Lord Jesus Christ and ask him to forgive their sins and to wash and cleanse them through his precious blood. And not only for Jesus to become their Saviour, but to become their Lord, that their whole life shall be surrendered to Almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Ghost, that they can be used both here in Whitton and anywhere else that you take them for the rest of their lives, every day committed unto God. Now, as an intercessor, I can ask this, not just because of the word of God, but because I have done this myself. I have done to ask Jesus as my Saviour many, many years ago. And many, many years ago too, I surrendered my life entirely to God to do whatever he wanted to do. Even that he has made me a priest, an Anglican priest in the Diocese of Ruvuma in Tanzania, the province of Tanzania. And although not able to go there because of, of this dreadful, dreadful virus, it will come, it will go, it's got to pass, and I shall return to Songia, to St. Augustine's church, to be amongst my people whom I love even in my in even in absence and in wit on too i'm fully expecting that devils will manifest themselves 
and, and have to be cast out. I'm here ready to cast out the devils. And two, those who are sick, no matter who they are, are sick. Like the, the lady visiting uh, this morning who I met on the, on the way back from the cemetery and she, she asked me to pray for her. And I fully know that she progressively will be healed. So it's with the absolute certainty that it is already done, not just for this dear, dear lady from Armenia, but also for the young people in Whitorn now and those who will be growing up to become young people in Whitorn. That, Father, you shall be glorified through thy Son, in whom, whose name this is asked. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost be with you, those who are already in Christ, and those who shall come to be in Christ over the coming days, weeks, months, and years, here in Whitorn and throughout the world. Amen.